G'day tankers and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Stemiga21 and today I'm bringing you a very old um, recording that I uh, had lost and have since found for the T49, the American, oh, sorry, the former American Tier 5 tank destroyer. Um, as some of you may remember, the T49 was a Tier 5 tank destroyer with a turret. Uh, the only real difference is now, it's now called the T67, and it's got a crappier looking turret. And it's in HD, that's the really only big difference. So, yes, um, I'll show you this game. We're going up the hill on Himmelsdorf. This this map hasn't changed. Went to Himmelsdorf, by the way, not just normal Himmelsdorf. And, uh, yeah, this, this map hasn't really changed at all since this game. So, pretty much everything's going to uh, make sense and seem relevant and uh, we're just this is, I can I can promise you right now I have actually shown this game on my channel before but um, the way I played it wasn't to everyone's liking so I've decided to do it again and do it properly so I've seen another T49 there and he's uh, being a bit timid back there I thought I'd uh, take a nice um, advantage of... Nope, we're not going to do that this time. I do tend to do that in my um, T67, which is something I still own and play. I've sold most of my Tier 5 tanks from back when I played them, but I still quite enjoy the T67. Or T49 in this case. So the T49 has appeared. Not the most accurate of guns. You may also notice I've got a very suboptimal setup on the ammunition. Basically, I've got mostly AP and some HE. This was back when I was quite bad considerably. A lot worse than what it used to be. We took a HE shot from that M4 there. Put a round to him. Just dodge another HE shot, which would have been the end of us. And he's taken out by another M4. T49 there. Miss him. And he's taken out by the M4 as well. So we decide to turn our attention to the middle of the map. Just missed that armada. We follow up with a better shot. Who was aiming at us? SU-76. Put him round into him. And finish him off. Hope, hoping that Chunu turns up and uh, we can shoot him, but we can't. I apologise for the jerkiness of this. This is a um, a replay. I can't re-record, and I don't even know where the replay file is. But so this is a quite old recording. There's a Ram two down there. Fortunately, we can't get a shot of it because due to our gun depression, and going over that ledge would just be a bit silly. Looks like he's waiting for me. I'm not going to entertain that prospect. Actually, our team's doing fairly well at the moment. We're winning by one kill, and we've already in their cap. T4 there absolutely derps the uh, enemy sexton. Our M3 Lee is... Uh, sorry, the M3 Lee destroys our other T49. And there's a point in this video... It's not that point though. Currently being capped, so I've decided to run back. This tank's very, it's still very good for um, running back to the, uh, running back where it needs to go. It's currently a Ram 2, a Chu Nu, looks like in our cap cell, and a Covenanter. Looks like he had a fair few cap points. Taking him out. We've bounced the shot from the... The ram. Took the hit from the Chunu, but luckily we didn't... Um, we're bouncing off him at the moment. We just got that shot through. Chunu not too happy about that. Pretty epic kill there, set him on fire, he dies. 
finish off the Chunu. So now we've got a top gun. So, very good there. Chunu, very unhappy, uh, referring to me uh, by a rather unpleasant name. Which uh, is unfortunate, but oh well, what can you do? And uh, right now we're facing three enemy tanks left. So they just destroyed our Matilda. Looks like, it looks like both teams failed to uh, cap as well as ours. I don't know what actually happened to our team. I think they just sort of derped out and failed, which is unfortunate. At this point of the game, I have just gone, right, I can't do this. I don't think I'm going to do this. And uh, just, I'm on two health. I'm facing three enemy tanks. And I just don't know what to do. So I've decided to run up here because they're not going to get up here quickly enough. And, um... Yeah, the Matilda has uh, said that this has been prophesized and that this will be the ama this will be amazing. I have no idea at this point, and I'm just right now my ha my palms are sweaty. I'm absolutely panicking and just I'm almost hyperventilating. This is the sort of gaming that I quite enjoy. So the situation is two hit points, dead radio operator, which isn't really that crucial to my tank's operations, so I don't need it. I pop up to try and spot some um, the enemy tanks. I don't know why I didn't sit there and try and activate my binoculars. They might have, I might have been able to get some cheap shots, but it doesn't matter. And now they're capping, so I've decided I need to rush to the cap as soon as possible. The chat's going crazy at this point. Well, not crazy, but just... It's getting weird. Oh boy. Yes. We've got plenty of time, because they've seemed to have moved off the cap and then moved straight back on. Spot the M3 Lee. Put two rounds into him. There we go. He's now a one shot for us. I think about going down there, but I thought, well, no. We looked like we're going to go down there. And then we change our position as soon as we have. As soon as, as, soon as we've changed what we're doing. So. Being very clever here. This is probably one of the cleverer games from when I was a lot worse off than I was. That I am, was, I am, no, it doesn't matter. And, um, one shot, one kill, second shot, two kills. That's a Rally Walters right there, eight kills. They didn't even get their shot off, they didn't even realise what happened. The uh, Chunu is still very upset, which is very sad for the Chunu. I'm still panicking at this point, going, what the hell had that happen? I think what amazed me the most was I didn't have to use auto-aim to take out those two guys. I normally... Yeah, normally I would be trying to use auto-aim to snapshot those guys. Even the enemy team apparently thinks I deserve the win. We'll see. Um... Enemy, I've asked the chat what the tank tank's health was, was or the KV, 232, so that's technically two and a bit shots for me. I miss. I'm rushing the shots because I'm panicking. He's now angled. At this point, time is crucial because we've only got 30 seconds and he's left the cap circle. So what's he doing? He's coming up that way. Now if I'd had APCR, I would have been pretty right just to spam that at him. And I would have. This Chunu is really toxic. I don't know what his problem was. 
Got a good name though. He probably should just go and do that in a fire. Oh well. Apparently having three kills is uh, makes you amazing. We'll see how that goes after the game. But oh well. Ignoring that annoying the true new. I don't even think I was reading the chat at this point. We bounce the shot from the KV. He's he's now a one shot. I have no idea how that was blocked. Probably hit the gun mandlet, thinking about it. And here we go. We've decided we're going in for the kill for this one. There's the KV. And then we low roll. And yeah, we low rolled. What can we do? I figured, surely, 115's average damage, he's on 113, should be fine. No. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do? We played well, and he played well. I mean, he was sitting in the cap circle. He had he was forcing me to commit, so I had to commit in some way. Anyway, we'll look at the post-game stats. And as you can see, uh, this was a pretty disastrous defeat for me, although it was my own fault. Um... An okay level of credits. We've got the Top Gun, the Defender Medal, Heart Calibre, the Delang's Medal for destroying at least four enemies while they're attempting to capture the base. We probably destroyed five in total. And we've got a Redley Walters for getting eight kills, which is my only Redley Walters to date. So, um, yeah, we did some good damage to everyone. As you can see, we were top of our um, team with 2,000 damage. Um, over double the next person below us who was tier 4 here. Basically, good game for a tier 4, which is always good. Um, the uh, hats off to Shadow um, in this team. He did very well. He had a good, decent game of almost 1500 damage, 5 kills. He almost got a top gun. Um, and he got 1000 XP out of that. I got a nice uh, 1200 base XP out of that. Which is uh, very nice indeed. Now, for the detailed report, I fired 30 shots, of which 23 hit and 22 penetrated. Um, and yeah, pretty much everything was standard. K damaged 11 tanks in the enemy team and killed 8. Um, and we travelled 6.48 kilometres. Um, we only made a profit of 12,734 credits, but. That's not too bad in total, and we received the 1200. That was would have been four credits resistance. Um, yeah, so very good game. Unfortunately, a loss and a bit of a heartbreaker, but what can you do? And that's how that's what it takes for you. So, um, without further ado, I'll leave you here. Um, another video coming up soon. Um, hopefully, getting more videos soon. So yeah. Anyway, I've got things to do. So until next time, I'll catch you next time. Bye.